Hello again, um, welcome to another one of my Photoshop tutorials. Before I start the tutorial, I've got two things to show you. The first one is that I've recently just bought Sony Vegas Pro 10, so I'll be doing a couple of, couple of tutorials on that um, in a week's time or so. And the second thing is, you'll notice in most of my tutorials, I use a different desktop background. I actually edit these myself in Photoshop, um, and if you know if you like the look of any of them. You can always head over to my thumbnail and um, download them for yourself. As you can see, I've uploaded them. Well, I've still got a load more to upload, but these are the ones I've uploaded for now. You know, you can head over to my thumbnail. When they just click on the image, and it should load up in full, as you can see. Um, and then you just right-click and save that. So, yeah, if you like any of my desktop backgrounds, head over to my thumbnail, and uh, you can download them. So, let's get to the to the tutorial itself. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the background from an image. Um, so ideally what I want to do today is remove the white um, from this picture, so the white background, and then take the, the image of Jessica Bill and layer her onto this image of um, Eva Mendes. So let's get to it. Um, if you don't know how to open your picture it's just file open and then you select the picture you want. Um, and once you've done that we can create our quick mask um, that's the first step so what you want to do is hit Q to create your quick mask and as you can see in the tab it will say quick mask um, and then we're going to want to head over to our brush tool make sure we got that selected uh, size our brush up to a decent size so around about there you can do this with the square brackets left one makes it smaller right one makes it bigger um, and you're going to want your primary colour to be black um, so now we've got this, we're just literally going to want to paint on a mask, almost like you're, you know, filling in an image. Um, so I'm just going to go paint in the middle first, so that I know I'm not missing any parts in the middle, and I've painted over all the middle. Um, with the hair, you can go as rough as you like around it, because we're going to want, we're going to want to keep all that in the, in the crop. So just go rough around the hair. And then when it comes down to the clothing line, you're going to want to zoom in a bit more and you know, go a bit closer to the clothing line. So size your brush up again. And then just paint in as close as you can. Like so, I suggest having your brush on around about an 80% hardness. It just makes it easier. And you know, it, you risk there's a less chance of going over the clothing line and spilling onto the background. So yeah, basically just do what I'm doing, and until uh, you filled in all the clothing line. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, fill in the rest of the clove, clothes, and then um, I'll be right back. Um, okay, so now I've just about finished doing that, as you can see I've kept it really close to the lines and then gone really rough over the hair um, taking my time more on the body one thing I did forget to mention say um, there, there was just neck here, there wasn't any hair covering that part of the neck you would have to go and take your time and get close to the neckline as well um, any skin that you can see you want to get close to unless it's obviously covered by hair or whatever if that makes any sense, I don't know if you'll understand what I just said um, so now I've created my quick mask um, I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard which is the shortcut to exit quick mask mode and that will turn it into a lasso um, now we're going to want to delete the white um, so we're going to want to head over to our layers tab double click on our background and uh, just ok that and it will turn it into a layer now we can hit delete on our keyboard and as you can see it will bring up the grid and uh, get rid of all the white and then we're going to want to deselect a lasso, so we can do this one of two ways. Um, click on your lasso just under your uh, arrow tool. Um, sorry, I got a bit of hiccups. So yeah, and then you're going to want to right click and hit deselect, or you can just hit Control D on your keyboard, and that's the shortcut for deselect. Um, yeah, so now as you can see, we've still got a lot of white around the hair that we want to get we want to get that cropped and get that out of the way so you know just zoom in a bit and 
What have I done? Yeah, just <laughs> just zoom in a bit. Um, and then head over to your razor tool, which is just under your spot healing brush tool and your clone tamp clone stamp tool. Um, click and hold, and bring up your background eraser tool. And as you can see, it will come up with a circle and a little crosshair inside of it. Um, a little cross inside of it. Whatever. Oh wait, first off, you're gonna want to copy my settings in at the top. So you want protect foreground color checked, tolerance on around about fifty percent, and you want your limits on discontiguous. Um, and you want your sampling once icon in the middle to be selected. Um, so now the little crosshair that you can see in the middle of the circle, whatever color that's hovered over, um, is being held over when I click and hold is the colour that will be erased. Um, so I'll just show you that. Uh, if I click and hold on the white, as you can see it'll only erase the white. And this lets me I don't know why this keeps popping up. Um, yeah this lets me get really close to the hair um, without actually erasing any of it. And it keeps all the hairline in there. You can also do this if you've you know gone over any of the clothing line just click and hold I don't think I have but you know that's always a way to mend it after um, so now I think I'm pretty much done cropping this image you know removing the background so I'm going to want to select my arrow tool um, and then click and drag her onto the other tab up the top here this will bring up this tab and then let me just drag Jessica Bill on there um, and she fits quite well. It's a bit of a touch. Um, yeah, as you can see, it was um, it weren't too bad of a crop. Um, I'm gonna hit Control E to merge these layers down and make it all one image. And I think as far as the cropping goes, that's about done. Um, sorry if this tutorial was a bit rushed. As you can see down the bottom there, I'm already on seven minutes thirty, and I did try and rush it a bit. Um, let me know how I did if my commentary was clear um, if it was a bit poor um, because I haven't uploaded many tutorials in the last week or so I will be doing another one today and that's just going to be a simple airbrushing tutorial you know how to get the magazine effect um, on a picture so look out for that and um, thanks for watching